In this discussion, we will discuss the discussion question of uh, discuss the benefits of budgeting. If we see a discussion question or essay question like this, this is a very open-ended type of essay question. Our objective is to exp First, a word from our sponsor. Well, actually, these are just items that we picked from the YouTube Shopping Affiliate Program, but that's actually good for you because these aren't things that were just given to us from some large corporation which we don't even use in exchange for us selling them to you. These are things that we actually researched, purchased, and used ourselves. Bayer Dynamic, not sure if I said that right, but this is the DT770 Pro 250 OHM Studio Reference Closed Back Headphones. I wear headphones basically every day for a large part of the day. They are important to me, therefore I've gone through many different kinds of headphones. I've had these for some time and they've worked quite well. They fit over my ears, but I'm still able to put my glasses on under the headphones. The headphones not pinching too tight on the glasses to give me a headache, which is nice. The quality of the patting is good and it has lasted for some time. I've had these for some time now and they haven't gotten all torn up on me or anything like that. I also like that I have a cord when I'm doing my recordings as opposed to a USB centered headphone because that frees up a USB port and I find the USB headphones to be less reliable. They come with an audio jack that looks like this, which is useful for me because that plugs into my audio interface. However, if you want to use the headphones for some other purpose, I believe it's fairly easy to get a converter to other types of audio jacks. If you would like a commercial free experience, consider subscribing to our website at accountinginstruction.com or accountinginstruction.thinkific.com where we have many different courses. You can purchase one at a time or have a subscription model giving you access to all the courses. Courses which are well organized have other resources like Excel files and PDF files to download and no commercials expand on the essay question if we have this in a test format obviously we want to expand on the question to be more likely to pick up as many points as possible if we see this in a discussion then our goal is to expand to pick up as many points within that discussion of course again this is a very open-ended type of question so we can dive uh, into this and go into a lot of depth and a lot of uh, tangents if we so choose to try to pick up as many points as we can or contribute to the discussion now one benefit of the budget is, of course, that it gives us that future orientation. We're looking towards the future. The purpose of the budget is for us to think out and project out into the future. When we consider out into the future, we generally have kind of our vision, kind of our mission statement out into the future. The budget helps us to make that vision more concrete, breaking that vision down into digestible chunks, chunks like a year and then into a quarter possibly and then into monthly possibly and go down from there so that we have those achievable goals going forward so that's one of the things it can do for us as a company it can it can get the idea of the overall goal get the companies looking into the future to be able to get those uh, overall vision but also break that down into the digestible chunks and steps that are going to be needed in the near future typically a year the budget of course helps us coordinate our business activity so the budget is in essence the short-term plan the plan that's going to be going out in the short term. We got that vision. It's going to coordinate our activities within the short term and help us to get basically all on the same page, hopefully agreeing on everything within the same page. That also means that the budget is going to be an opportunity to motivate the employees. That's going to be one of the key factors, possibly one that isn't touched on as many times. Would we consider the budget? In other words, we often think of the management coming in and just laying out the budget and then communicating it out and saying, hey, this is what we're going to do. And then just basically leading the way. But what we really want to see there is the budget happening from the bottom up. And we'll often see this, especially in larger companies. Again, in a small company, you, that might be the case. You might have the, the, the owner of the company is going to say, hey, this is what we're doing. I have the vision. I'm going to apply the vision. I know where we're going. I know how to do this. I, I have the best idea of what the vision will be. But once the, the company gets large, again, the vision is there by the top management, but the budget, the year plan, how are we going to get step by step to that vision is going to be something that's going to be needed from each department. We're going to have to get that information from each department because the CEO, the CFO, 
it's too big for them to really know what the best thing to do is on each department or what the data is on each department. So for that reason, logistically and for the fact that we want to be able to involve everyone in the process, uh, we're going to have a bottom up type approach awesome oftentimes. And so that means that there's a huge opportunity to basically uh, have communication through the budgeting process, hopefully have everybody that's involved or affected by the budget giving input into the budget, feeling like they're involved in creating the budget and therefore invested in the implementation of the budget as well. So obviously we're not talking about a democracy in, in the corporation. So don't think we're all going to vote on the budget and, you know, most votes win kind of thing. It does have to be approved by upper management, obviously. But if we can uh, address the budgeting process, the performance of the budget and make everybody feel that the process is good, then you can really improve the morale of the company and have everybody actually invested and therefore definitely work better to apply the budget. So that's going to be a key factor. Again, one that's often not touched on in a lot of discussion questions, at least at first or in the essay questions. The budget also provides the basis on which evaluation will be made. So we're going to say, hey, this is what we expect to do. This is what we want to have happened. And therefore, uh, once time passes, we can compare what actually happened to what we budgeted to happen. That's going to be the point of the budget. If we don't have a target, if we don't give people targets and specifically targets that they can achieve and they have control over, uh, then we can't really assess how they're doing. <laughs> so we have to have the budget. Now note, there's going to be a lot of pitfalls in that assessment, of course, and you can go into a lot of detail about, you know, how to set the, the right goals and whatnot, just, but we could go into the fact that if the goals are too difficult, non-achievable, then people get discouraged and they start to just uh, they might not perform well and if the goals are too low then people will clear the goals and not be challenged at all and they may not they may not bring up the case that the, the goals are too low because uh they they want a clearable goal <laughs> they want it to be easy in some case but it won't be challenging and therefore they won't be optimizing performance probably not good for the employee or obviously the company as well so you can go into you know what's the best way to choose the best goal there's a bunch of other kind of issues with goal setting and motivation involved with it including things like compensation for reaching the goal if there's a lot of incentive a lot of bonuses and whatnot to re to reach the goal then there's incentive for fraud or uh, some deceit just pressure a lot of pressure to to hit those targets because of of all that um and that could that could hurt future performance and lead people to possibly do things that are unethical or hurt the long term vision in order to achieve the short term goal, which is not really what we want. We want to challenge people to meet the goal, but still keep the long term vision intact. And of course, we don't want to encourage anybody to do anything that would be unethical, which, again, would not be good for, for them, the company or for our long term vision. Once the budget has been created, we have the communication process to create the budget. Once it's done, once the decision has been made, once we have finalized the budget, the budget is going to be a great tool for us to communicate what our goals are throughout the company. So you want to kind of keep those two separate. Obviously, to make the budget, we're going to have the budgeting committee. We have everybody come together. We have a communication process. Hopefully, we build rapport with everybody and, and it's a great communication type process. Once it's done, once the decision's made, then there's no more really negotiation about the budget the, that time has passed now the communication should be geared towards the implementation of the budget and and the the budget if done well is a great tool for the implementation you can take the budget hey here's our roadmap here's what we expect to happen here's what we all agreed on here's what everybody invested in uh, and and therefore and, and then we can communicate what the goals are so the budget should be a tool for the communication of the plan once the budget has been put together.